Many people out there are looking for the perfect smartphone, whether it be software, hardware, design, specs, or features. What up everybody, welcome back, VTEC here, and today I'm going to be discussing about what in my opinion is the perfect smartphone. Now I'm going to be taking a lot of aspects and features from different smartphones such as LG, Samsung, Apple, and bring it all into one big perfect smartphone. And to let you guys know, I did get this idea from MKBHD, and I'll leave his channel link in the description down below. So without further ado, I'm going to get this show started and let you guys know what I think is a perfect smartphone. Let's begin with design. In this case, I would have to go with the HTC One M8. Its full aluminum built design is beautiful and it's a well constructed use of material. Next is the camera. I have opted to go with the Note 4's camera because it supports a 16 megapixel rear shooter with OIS and it just takes phenomenal photos. For the front facing camera, I would have to go with the HTC Desire Eye because it supports a 13 megapixel front facing camera and that would be great for selfies. Oh, I forgot about that IR blaster. I would place that on top of the device. For screen size and ratio, I would use both technology from the LG G3 and the Galaxy Note 4 and implement it into one awesome screen. A 5.5 inch screen with very thin bezels and compact as well as an amazing Super AMOLED Quad HD screen would be the perfect fit. To keep those bezels thin, I would incorporate the same power and volume button build found on a G3. Now it comes to the choice if I want on screen buttons or a physical home button. I would lean more towards a physical home button only so that I can use the Touch ID feature found on Apple devices for my perfect smartphone. I'm still not done with hardware. For speakers, I would definitely opt for the boom sound speakers found on the HTC One M8. Going to the bottom of the device, it would include its usual 3.5mm headphone jack as well as its micro USB which is capable for turbo charging. We haven't talked much about specs and processors yet. Well, this might be way off, but I would definitely include a Snapdragon 820, 4 gigs of RAM, and Adreno 430 GPU with a 3200 million power battery. I would also want an option for micro SD storage as well as an overall 128 gigabyte of storage. Having a thickness of 7.5 millimeters thin would be a perfect size. Going over to software, I just want to let you guys know that I would not choose iOS in this case. Don't get me wrong, I like iOS, but it's just too simplistic and a lot of things are very limited. So knocking that off the list, I would implement pure stock Android on the perfect smartphone. Of course, running the latest version as well, Lollipop. Also, I would definitely add the not code feature found on LG devices as I found it to be extremely useful. So overall, this would be a spec powered and beautiful design and one I would opt to use. Anyways everybody, I think that's going to have to end this show on what I think the perfect smartphone is. Be sure to comment down below on what you guys think the perfect smartphone is. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and best of all subscribe either down there or over there based on which platform you're using. Until next time everybody, this is VTech.